<laughs> they are out, but his driver has gone, so maybe we'll use the lawyer's vehicle. Which driver has gone out? The one who brought him. You come out. You have come for you. You are in the car. Ah, you can go deal with him. <laughs> no, ask the lawyer. Okay, awesome. Malo, you can come with us. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, water. Okay. They summoned the uh, Honorable Davis Miller, uh, apparently in connection with uh, an investigation pertaining to uh, some campaign vehicles. Yeah, so they have not given us the benefit of appreciating the essential object of the investigation, that is in, the term, in terms of the complainant and most importantly what offence might have been committed. So we uh, ended up uh, giving his side of the story regarding what he knows about uh, the party's campaign vehicles. So for the rest I think we'll give it to, we'll leave it to them to be able to accord uh, the media the benefit of a statement uh, yeah. that is uh, talking in terms of what they really want to get at and how far this process should go. Your names and uh, how many vehicles were they talking about? Well, they talked in terms of uh, three vehicles, I think, somewhere in the northern province. Your name, sir? Uh, Kambwa Aungola. Come again? Kambwa Aungola. Kambwa Aungola. Yes. Is there any further engagement with the police, maybe in the near future? Or that, that was it? Well, in the interim, the intimation is that they'll be uh, they're likely to get back to us because they turn this as an ongoing investigation. That's why we, it could be indefinite. We don't know how far they want to go. But basically, they're talking about vehicles. Nothing spectacular. Did you mention Northern Province? Yes, they talked about Northern Province. Of course, it could it could be beyond that. We cannot speak in terms of what the scope of the investigation is. But uh, talking in terms of campaign vehicles. Thank you so much. Uh, well, we are now getting used to this collapse by the police. And like we have said as PF. We are not against the police investigating anybody in, uh, with a view of, uh, I mean, in, uh, if they suspect anything. But what we are asking them is to do it in the correct way. Like what we, are, that we have seen today, they call him, interview him, let him go home, and if they want him, we'll bring him again. We'll have no problem with that. But where they want to be detaining people for the sake of detaining them, we will not allow it. We will not allow it. So for today, I think so far so good. Like the council said, we are happy, but uh, let them do things according to the laid down uh, uh, procedures. And it is very, very uh, uh, surprising, actually. We start talking about campaign vehicles. Hmm. Campaign vehicles, you know the campaigns from Kaunda days. Sometimes they well, we shall just come. Uh, we campaign. Even the opposition are given vehicles, even UPND. You saw many vehicles that they were using. And by are they going to follow everybody who donated the vehicle to UPND? The Bible says, do unto others what you want others to do unto you. This that they have started going as far as 
asking for campaign vehicles who want them one day and will destroy democracy because people will be scared to give the opposition uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, help and then it will be left with one, one party in, in government enjoying those gifts. Then uh, there will be no democracy to talk about. Is it no more honorable for a ruling party to have no vehicle? No, it's I mean, <laughs> even years, the opposition. Even us when we were in opposition as PF, Many people years. used to donate vehicles to us for use in the campaign. Even where they are sitting, UPND, they've got vehicles that were donated to them. So please, eh, let's follow proper yeah. corruption. Eh? He has been saying they were corrupt, they were corrupt. No, I pay a motor a gift in corruption. And we'll see where it will end up. Thank you. Cheers. <coughs> I think as it has been said, uh, basically this is a scheme of the UPND led by Misaka in Dechlema to try and uh, cripple the patriotic front. Now it is in public domain that what has preoccupied Misaka in Dechlema State House to a point of giving instructions to his vice president, his political advisor, and uh, using another political cadre in the name of Wakafum but Home Affairs is basically to find a way of destabilizing political parties. So the issue of wanting to investigate the source of funding for Patriotic Front, to investigate the source of all logistics, including transport, in this case vehicles, by intimidating and wanting to harass our former Secretary General, I think is very unfortunate. It's undemocratic, as it has been said. We don't have a law in this country that compels political parties to declare their source of funding or indeed to declare where they got their properties. So it's unfortunate. And Mr. Akainde, please, can you chill? Maybe I say in English, sit down, think, <laughs> then possibly you can be able to act properly adhering to the rule of law. Thank you very much. Thank you, members of the press.